here is the best bag I've ever owned. And I can take this in to any job and do about 90%, have 90% of the tools on the job site. So let's get to it. On the top here, I've got my stud finder <clears throat> and it just connects. It's got two powerful magnets, it just connects on the top where the strap would go. More on that later. And then just starting on this side, I've got my favorite tape measure right here, fast cap. Um, I'll do a review on that some other time. And then moving on here, got a pipe wrench. I've got my utility knife. And I've got a, a chisel punch. And then over here, chisel some tin snips my file half bastard and then i've got another just a little rat file i've got some three in one oil i've got some pipe dope and here i've got my stanley little Trim pry bar, nail pry bar. I've got my electrical pliers. And I've got a, an outlet tester. One of them. Moving along this side. Got my screwdrivers. My Milwaukee, you just push these on through. And connect this. This could be put into a drill. I've got a good old 11 in one, Klein makes one just like that. I've got this little guy for my outlet covers, two flashlights, rechargeable. Um, I think these were two for 20 bucks on Amazon. I really like them. Magnetic tip, got two of those. Then I've got for attics or basement crawl spaces, kind of a, a spotlight there, and then a floodlight, and then your red light, which I have no idea what that's about. So if someone could tell me in the comments, I never understood the red. Got some needle nose pliers, and I've got just some generic, um, just different bits um, and then I've got my quarter inch drive speed bits and then on here this is where I keep my scraper for scraping windows and whatever else and then some scraper blades another little pocket scraper and then right here is my straight and then these are all these go into my impact drill bits Bosch God will have those then here's a t20 on one side and a t25 on the other right here is my quarter inch magnetic nut driver spring tool this thing is awesome this thing instead of a nail punch you take it up to trim and it's got enough force um, you just let it go and it'll set that any nail in the trim this will save you from whacking a hammer and a, a nail set Anyways, I'll have a whole different video on this. Got a little spade bit, 5 eighths, of course, and Milwaukee's ink saw, Sharpie. Um, got some carpentry pencils, another Sharpie, backup, a little highlighter. Here I have my 
just some painter's tape. I've got my plumbing Teflon tape. And this just easily comes off. And you can get access whatever you'd like. I've got my zip ties right here. Utility knife. I've got another little light. And that's magnetic as well. And I've got a little wire brush. And this is where I got my little crescents. I've um, got some electrical tape here and more Teflon. I've got to have two crescents. I've got a little channel locks right here. A big channel locks. Red is my color for my tools. A big crescent. Got another little nail. I love this little guy. He can get in there and pry about anything else. Craftsman, little eight inch. Okay, and then. Then right here, I've got my paintbrush. It's um, three inch clear cut elite. I've got my speed square. You always need a little, little pad to write on. I've got my electrical tester. My go-to little impact wrench, Bosch brushless. I love this thing. This thing will last for ever. Plenty of torque. And I love this tip. This tip is my my absolute favorite. It's got a T25, a Torx T25 on one side and a Phillips on the other. And you could just change them around. That's all I use for screws. Either Phillips or a T25. Got the world's biggest hammer right here. Comes in handy. I've got my level, magnetic, greenly. Just some scissors. I've got my, oops. I've got some graphite lubricant for keys, keyholes, I should say. Just some sandpaper to rough things up. I've got a pair, a couple pair of gloves in here if I need. Latex gloves, more latex gloves. A man's essential, beef jerky. And this in here. I just have some quick access to my nails and screws. I've got my Duego, um, the lever nuts. So you just put your wire in there instead of messing with a wire nut. Um, got some anchors. I got some, this is to, um, these are handy. This is to extend, you put on a uh, receptacle or light switch to extend it if it's sunken in too far to the wall. Got some nails, screws, um, an extra driver. And then I, in case I need to, I always keep one of these in here, in case I need to do a, a pilot hole. Um, and this guy I use all the time. This is a carbide tipped, you just put in a drill and you can shave off the inside of a door, metal door latch, um, the female end, if, uh, if, you, if it doesn't fit just right. You got some for stripped out screws um, and just an assortment of screws there. Got a 101 piece, just picture hanging kit. It's got all just, sorts of random stuff in there. And then my favorite thing about this bag is underneath is another compartment. And I'm still working on this here, but um, here's all my the Wagos electrical wire nuts, lever nuts, some more drywall anchors 
and I've got to set this up like I like. It also comes with a strap. I never use it, but um, it'd be real handy if you're going long distance. You could just strap this up for your shoulder. And this thing is, I've had it for since January of 2019. So um, going on three years and nothing's broken, nothing's pulled out. The seams are still good. And I love this thing. Um, I'll put how many pounds, I'll put everything back in and weigh it. It is a Jackson Palmer. Jackson Palmer. And they're out of stock right now, so I'm hoping they get them selling again. I just love these things. So, anyways, um, I'll have a lot more higher quality videos and a lot more videos of random stuff and how-tos, handyman how-tos and tool reviews you name it, whatever you want, put it in the comments and I'll try to answer as many as I can.